Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Vault Boy from Fallout. So we're going to start with his face. I'm having him in a standing position with his thumb sticking out on the left side. So we'll start with the inner parts of the face. So starting with the left eye, I'm going to draw a little oval and then color that in black. Just over to the right, I'm going to start at the very top. So in line with the top of the left eye, I'm going to curve around the eye and then curve in the opposite direction to create a nose. Over on the right side here, I'm going to draw a curve. So the character's winking. Now below the nose, I'm going to draw a curve for the upper part of the mouth. So starting on the left side, I'll curve over to the right. From here, I'm going to draw a couple brackets on the end, just to close off the ends of the mouth. So two little curves. And then from the starting and end point, I'm going to connect those again with a downward curve that goes back up. And let's draw a little indication of the bottom lip. So just in the middle of the mouth, just below, I'm just going to draw a little curve like that. Let's draw the profile of the face. So the head's going to come down to here. The head's basically an oval. So I'm going to draw the profile first. So starting above the eye, I'm going to curve down to the neck. So up here, I'm going to curve around the facial features, around the mouth, and just kind of come in underneath like that, I'm just stopping halfway down the middle of the face. From here, I'm going to draw the other side. So there's a gap in the head, right in the middle here where the neck is. I'm just going to curve up on the right side, just about where the bottom of the ear would be. And down here, I'm just going to draw a little curve, almost like a backward C for the ear. Let's finish off the neck area. So I'm just going to do an overlap on the left side and just overlap the right, just for the neck. Let's go ahead and do the hair. So he's got some wavy hair. So I'm going to start at the front up here. I'm going to wave a little line across the top. So starting up at the top here, curve down into that line, up, and then down. And we're just going to continue this little wave across like that. From here, let's draw the back of the head. So I'm not going to close that part with the back of the head. I'm just going to draw a curve. So imagining this oval coming back up this way. So right here, I'm just gonna curve up like this. Now from here, at the front, I'm gonna start back at the starting point and just continue this wave along like this. And then I'm just gonna connect with the back of the head. Let's go ahead and finish off the hair. So from this point, I'm gonna curve in towards the eye and then close this on the back of the head like this. Along the side here, I'm just gonna draw some hair lines. So one, two, three, that just touch the back of the head. Let's draw on some eyebrows. So above this left eye, I'll draw a little curve. And on the right, I'll do the same thing. Let's draw a little bit of hair on the back side here. So up here, let's draw a little curve just to finish off the other side. From here, let's go ahead and draw the body and the arms. So this arm's sticking out with the thumb. This side is coming around to the hips. So I'm just gonna start by drawing the top parts of the arms first. So this arm is gonna come down to the wrist. So I'm just gonna draw a curve from the head, from the chin, to the wrist. On this side, I'm gonna curve in the opposite direction, down towards the elbow, this way. This body's gonna curve down towards the hips. So I'm gonna probably locate the hips right about here. So up in this area, right here in the armpit, I'm just gonna curve down the front profile of the belly. This side, I'm gonna do the other side. So this side, the arm's gonna be up here, so I'm gonna start down here and curve down towards the waistline. Let's connect those two points with a curve. It's coming down the middle and back up again. Now there's a collar detail with a stripe that comes down to the waist belt. So I'm, if I'm gonna put the stripe down here, I'm gonna have to draw the collar right about here, just drawing a curve around the collar and leaving the gap open in the center. This is gonna come down. So two stripes coming down towards the waist belt. So from here, I'll curve down and I'll do that same curve on the right side, leaving a gap here. And all I have to do is just close that gap off by drawing two lines across the bottom. From here, let's finish off this arm. So this arm's gonna come down to the wrist towards the hand. So I basically wanna bring the wrist down to here. So over here, I'm gonna do an overlap. So this arm overlaps on top of the body. So I'm just gonna draw a curve like this. Now I'll do an overlap here and draw a curve into the waist. From here, I'm gonna curve and round out the cuff. Now I just wanna make that point meet up with that elbow by curving up like that. Now let's draw on the hand, very simple hand here. Right up here, I'm just gonna do an overlap. So come down a little bit and draw a curve that comes around. It hooks around like this. And then up here, I'm just gonna draw an overlapping line just to show the back side of the hand. Let's go up to this side. Over here, let's finish off the wrist. I'm just gonna draw a curve down to the bottom of the wrist. From here, I'm gonna curve up and just tuck that in behind the body. So it's get a, it gets a little bit thinner as I get towards the body. Let's get into the thumb. So right here, I'm gonna draw an overlap. Curving to the edge of the thumb and then I'm gonna go in the opposite direction and then just roll this around like that, all right? From here, let's draw in some overlapping fingers. So up here, I'm just gonna draw a curve 
for one finger, like so. Over here, I'm going to draw another overlapping finger. Like this. And then for the final finger, I'm just going to draw an oval. It just overlaps that finger. I'm just going to close this gap off here. Underneath here, I'm going to draw the bottom part of the hand. So starting underneath this finger, I'm just going to roll around and meet up with that point on that hand. On the side of this wrist, I'm just going to pull that right into that cuff. Let's go ahead and finish this off with the legs. So the legs I'm going to bring down to here. I'm going to bring the cuffs of the pant down to here. So from this point in the hips, I'm going to curve out to the left. And on this side, I'm going to do the opposite, curving out towards the right. Let's do the cuffs of the pant. So on the left side, I'm just going to draw a curve like this. And on the right, I'll do the same length cuff. This side is going to tuck on top of the left leg. Just because his body's turned this way, you're going to see the right leg tucking on top of the left. So starting up here, I'm going to curve right into that leg cuff there. Do a little overlap here and down to that leg. So you can see that this leg is on top of the left leg. Let's draw on the feet. So stepping in on the left side here, come down with a curve for the heel, going across with a short line, short little line up. Now from here, I just want to round out to the top of the foot. So curving around like that. And a little simple foot here. So this foot is actually pointing forward. You just have to step in on the left side of the foot here. Pull it in like that. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Vault Boy from Fallout. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like and share this with your friends. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.